Hey guys, it's Taylor. Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be introducing a new series today. I'm going to be calling it Everything Has a Home. And by that, I mean everything has a home. This is going to be an organizing series that I'm going to put everything organizing in it. If I organize something in my house or if I organize something for someone, this is what I'm going to be putting it in. So the first project that I made for myself is our coat closet. And I know this was going to be a perfect one because I feel like everyone never knows what to do with their coat closet or how to organize it. So I'm going to show you how I organize our coat closet. Let's turn positions so we can see what I did. So here are the things that you will need to get started. Bins or baskets. I purchased these from Dollar Store. I got five of them so they were a dollar a piece which was perfect. You can also get hangers, that's completely optional, but I got these from the dollar store as well. I got three packs and they were, had six in each of them. Labels, these are either from the dollar spot at Target or Michaels. Or you could use a labeler, which I will be using. So here are the steps. Step one is to declutter. This is my favorite part because I like to take everything out and reevaluate, which I did before this video. This is the time where you want to take everything that you don't want for fall, winter, spring, and summer and get rid of it. Give it to someone who actually needs it and get your space all clean and clear. You just feel so good once you get everything out that it's like, ah, it's the best. So I'm just taking this up from the top as well, deciding if I need it or don't want it. And putting it in piles to get rid of or keeping it to have for our next step. Step two is to organize coats by color. I am just a freak so if you're a freak like me and you like to color coordinate you could totally do this. I just like it to make sense in my brain which in my mind this makes complete sense. So I'm just taking the coats and organize, organizing them by color. Hello I cannot speak. Um, which just helps me feel better about myself. <laughs> so if you're a freak like me, come and join the party and color coordinate your closet. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Step three is to change the hangers and zips the coats. I am just taking out the old hangers and putting in the new ones. In my mind, once again, it just makes total sense just to get new hangers, start fresh, have it look all nice and clean. So while I'm doing that, I'm taking the garbage out of the pockets of the coats and um, zipping up the coat so that way they stay on the hanger much better. Like I said, the hangers is a complete optional. You don't have to do this. This is just something for me. Once again, that just makes sense in my brain. Step four is to organize into piles or bins with their mates. So I was taking the gloves and the mittens and putting them with their mates before I stuck them in the buckets. And then I was also taking hats and what are they called? Earmuffs and sticking them in the buckets because I know that I wanted them. After I did this process, I did realize that I did not keep those two scarves. It was a brown one and that purple, orangish, um, like red one. I got rid of those. I decided that we didn't need those. We haven't used them, so we're just going to give them away. So this is the time we're just to put in everything where they go. Everything has a home. See, this is this is this is my thing. This is my thing. So now we have three bins, two left over, and these are the categories. So step five is labeling. It's like putting the cherry on top of like a Sunday or you know like topping it off. This is my favorite part because I like that. Just that just shows that it's all done. It's all pretty. It all looks the same. Same font, has a word, the boxes go where they go, great. Step six is to put everything in its home. See the point of this video. So now I'm just taking the bins and kind of rearranging how I want them to look in the closet. This is completely up to you. Obviously everyone's closet is not the same, so yours isn't going to look exactly like mine. But just this is time to just see where you want them, change it up a little bit to see if you even like it like that. Um, this is going to be your closet. You're going to use this more. It's going to be more open for you to use. It's going to be more friendly to use. We're actually going to use this more. So this is this is the final project. So here you go. This is just a, an overview. I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is like one of my exciting videos because I just love to organize. It just soothes my soul. 
even if I go to a friend's house or my family's house, I'm like, okay, what can I organize? What can I organize? Because I, I need to, I need to do something because this is stressing me out. I need to do something. I need to organize because I'm stressed out and this will keep me not stressed out. I just took those two extra bins and stuck them underneath just in case I needed them for something else. This is my donate pile. So it was a big, full bag of stuff to donate. It just feels so good. It feels so good. And I get a coupon from Goodwill. Yay! And do you want to know the best part of this video? Drum roll, please. All of this only cost me $8. So it was an under $10 project that was awesome. And honestly, it only took me 10 minutes. The only reason why it took me a little bit longer is because I had to film it. But if I didn't have to film it, I would have been done. So here you guys go. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you have any video requests. And I will see you in my next video. XOXO with love, Taylor. Mwah.